All right, so this is part two of lesson 4-6. Part two. All right, so example three is combine like terms to generate equivalent expressions. So first thing I want you to do is I want you to write down this expression. We want to use the properties of operations to generate an expression equivalent to the following. 2x plus 5 plus a negative 4x minus 2. So the first thing we want to do here is we want to change all of the plus negatives. We want to change all of the plus negatives. Now you guys remember what a plus negative means? So just to remind you what, what plus the negative means, okay? Um, let's say this, this is 5 minus 4x. If I do 5 minus 4x, and remember, if we do keep, change, change, this is going to be 5 plus a negative 4. Does everybody see that? Plus a negative. Does everybody see that? So plus a negative means that we're going to subtract. So, we're going to rewrite. We have 2x plus 5 plus a negative means subtraction. subtraction. So, that's minus 4x minus 2. So, there we go. So, now we want to use the commutative property so that our x terms are together and so that our constants are together. So, I'm going to use my commutative property just to flip those two, okay? So, here we have 2x, and now we're going to use a commutative property. Remember, the operation follows the number, okay? The operation follows the number. So, we're going to put a negative 4x next. So this is going to be minus 4x. And then the positive 5 is going to be plus 5. And then minus 2. Now we're going to use the associative property to group. Okay? So we're going to group those terms together. And we're going to group those terms together. So now we can combine those. So 2x Minus 4x is what? What kind of 2x? Negative. negative. So this is going to be a negative 2x. And then positive 5 minus 2 is? What kind of 3? Positive 3. And there's the end of it. All right. So that, what I just showed you is the way the textbook is going to show, is that the textbook wants you to do it. I'm going to ask you to show your work using shapes, okay? So, we are going to show our like terms using um, circles and triangles and, and squares and things like that. And I'll show you what I mean. So, the first thing I want to do in this problem is rewrite the what's? The plus negatives, right? We want to rewrite the plus negatives to subtraction, okay? So we're going to rewrite that as negative 2x minus 5 plus u plus x minus 1. Now we want to identify our like terms. Identify like terms. Now, the way we're going to identify our like terms is we're going to circle them. We're going to put squares or rectangles around them. We're going to put triangles around them. If we need to, we can make more shapes too, okay? So now, what are, what can I put together? Negative 2x, negative 2x, and the 
positive x because they're both x terms. Okay. What else can I put together? The negative 5 and the negative 1. So now we can go ahead and combine them. Put circles and circles and squares and squares together. Okay? Now, so we have a 1 here because 1 times x, that's what x is equal to. So now we can combine. So now we have a negative 2x plus 1x. What's that? So we're going to have, we have negative 2x plus 1x. You are doing the calculations with the numbers. You leave the variables as is. So negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. So that's negative 1x. Do I have to write that 1 in there? No, you don't. You're just going to write negative x. I'll, I'll clean it up in a minute. And now we have negative 5 minus 1. Negative 5 minus 1. Remember, keep change, change. What's that going to give me? Negative 6. Negative 6. Okay? So now we can clean this up. We can take that 1 out. We have negative x minus 6. Now, I want to let you know that this is not wrong. This is not wrong. But this is better. So when you are taking your test, it will, it will take, it wants you to put in the best answer. So if you put this in, technically it's not wrong but it's going to mark it wrong because this is better. So, the first thing we want to do is we want to get rid of our plus negatives. Okay? So we're going to rewrite the full negative 4x plus a negative 7 plus 2x minus 3. We're going to rewrite that as negative 4x minus 7 plus 2x minus 3. Now we're going to identify our like terms. So we've got a negative 4x and we have a positive 2x. Those are our like terms. Then we have our constants also that we can combine. Negative 7 and negative 3. And now we put them together. Okay? So we have a negative 4x plus 2x is a negative 2x. And then a negative 7 plus a negative 3 is a negative 10. So example 4 is use properties to generate equivalent expressions again. It's just a more challenging one. This one is using exponents. Okay? So we've got 5x squared plus a negative 2x plus 2 plus x times the quantity x plus 6. So the first thing we want to do is we want to use our distributive property. Okay? So right here, we are distributing a positive x throughout the parentheses. So here we're going to rewrite 5x squared plus a negative 2x plus 2 now, here's our distributive property. We have x times x. What is x times x? x squared. Very good. That is x squared. So, plus x squared. And then we have x times positive 6, which is? What kind of 6x? Positive. So, positive 6x. Make sure you write that down. So the next step is to change all of the plus negatives. Very good. So let's see. Here we have a plus negative. Anything else? Nope, nope, nope. All right. So we have 5x squared minus 2x plus 2 plus x squared plus 6x. 
So there's all my plus negatives. Okay. Now the next step is to use my shapes to identify the like terms. Now, here's an, this is a new like term for you guys. Okay. We've got, oops, let me change it to blue. We've got an x squared term. Does everybody see it? Here is another x squared term, plus x squared. What's the number in front of that x squared? No. One. Very good. That's a one. So five x squared plus one x squared. Okay. So then I've got my x terms. Okay. So we've got an x term here. And we've got an x term there. You guys, you make sure you use your shapes, okay? And then we've got this lonely little two all by itself, okay? So now we want to combine our like terms. Now, when you are combining your like terms, is everyone listening? When you are combining your like terms, you're going to go from the highest exponent to the lowest exponent all the way down to the constant. So the first one we're going to write is the highest exponent is the x squared term. You with me? So 5x squared plus 1x squared is 6x squared. Now we have negative 2x plus 6x. That's going to give me... What's, what's negative 2 plus 6? Positive 4. Very good. So this is going to be plus or a positive 4x. And then we've got that lonely little 2 plus 2. So let's do letter B together. And again, the first thing you're going to do is your distributive property. First thing is your distributive property. So negative 3 times negative 4x is what? Negative times a negative is a positive. So this is going to be a positive 12x. Now we have negative 3 times positive 1. Negative, no, no, multiply. 3 times 1 is 3. So that's going to be a negative 3. Okay? plus 2x squared plus x. What's in front of that x? A 1. A 1. Very good. I'm just going to write it just to remind you. Now, we want to identify our like terms. What do I have like terms? I have a 12x and a... No, not x squared. Right. You see that? Because this is a this is, is just an x and that is an x squared. So those are not like terms. Is everybody with me on that? Yes. And then can I combine anything else? Uh, no. Nope, nope. So now, and if you want to put the if you want to put the shapes around around the, the lonely ones, you can. Alright. So now we're going to write the expression from the highest exponent to the lowest exponent, all the way down to the constants, okay? So the first one we're going to write is the highest exponent, 2x squared, okay? What comes next? The x's. So 12x plus 1x is 13x. So plus, so positive, 13x, okay? And then we've got that lonely little 3 all the way down to the constant, so negative 3 is left. And that's your final answer. So for this one, you guys, we're going to use our distributive property. And look at what we're distributing, you guys. What are we distributing? Negative, uh, two. A negative 2. You see that? So we've got to be careful with those. So we've got a 2x. And negative 2 times negative 3x is, what's a negative times a negative? Positive. positive. So this is a positive 6x. 
And then we have a negative 2 times a positive 2, which is a negative 4. We're multiplying. We're multiplying. And then plus 4x squared. Okay? So now we want to identify our like terms. What do I have? 2x and a positive 6x. All right. So then we've got a negative 4 here, and we've got this all by itself, the negative 4x squared. So now we want to put these in order from the highest exponent to the lowest exponent all the way down to the constants, right? So which one comes first? Positive 4x squared. Very good. 4x squared. What comes next? Well, no, because we want the x terms next, right? Because this is so 2x plus 6x is 8x. So that's going to be a positive 8x all the way down to the constant negative 4. You see that? Yes. All right.